What's up guys and welcome to another video and today I'm going to review the whole Dural. As you know that about 3 months ago I ordered some stuff from Dural and I got them. I made a video about them as well. If you haven't watched it, it will be up here. And um, I ordered 4 stuff and got all of them. They all work perfectly fine. I had I know that I said that I will make review on all of them but I don't think they all deserve like their separate video. I might make a full video where I will review all of them. So I have divided this video into into 6 categories in 6 parts. App slash website experience is good i guess not the best like um, now this is connected to the algorithm uh, very much because kind of website is based on the algorithm so if the algorithm is not that great then probably the website and x app app experience is also not that great i don't use website that much i often use the app because i found it more easy i don't know why but the advantage with using website is that you can open up different tabs at once so if you are on the home page and if you find a lot of things that you like you can just open them in a different tab but on the phone you have to click on that then if you like it you can add it to cart and then uh, if you go back and it refreshes that page, it's gone. The gestures and stuff are not that smooth and the whole experience is not that smooth and fluid. I wish it was more fluid. So that's the only complaint I have. So I will await that 5 out of 10. Now ordering is really easy. Now the problem I had when I was ordering these were that at that time I didn't have any credit in my online bank so so the only other way I had was to uh, select cash and delivery so there were so many products that didn't have this option available which kind of sucks uh, because a lot of people kind of don't use online um, payment in Pakistan after ordering the shipping is really nice I gotta be honest their shipping is really nice very fast like uh, it will tell you that it, it will take like four or five days but it actually comes after like two days uh, I ordered this slide and I think the date was anywhere between three to five days and I got it the second day and uh, after you know that I exchanged these because these were not working and uh, I think it only took one more day to do it so in total three days to order this and then exchange this so I will wait ordering and shipping about seven out of ten because uh, ordering doesn't get that much point but because shipping is also in that same category i will give this 7 out of 10 now a lot of people actually think that the ross is a scam and there are a lot of scam and they think that there are a lot of scams on the ross so that's why they don't uh, show up from the ross just because of this and i kind of get that uh, i was one of them but not now. I after ordering, I get that this, that is not scam. It's just that you have to be more careful and uh, look through the reviews and stuff. Just don't go and buy random thing. And the other thing that will let you know if that's a scam or not is that if there is a product that costs a lot of uh, money, but uh, on the Raz it's really cheap like really cheap or uh, there's a cheap product 
and that is really expensive on the rise that's how you know that that is 100% a scam so just be careful before ordering stuff and it's not scam I'm not saying that there is no scam on the rise there are a lot of scams still but you just have to be more careful and uh, just do a research on whatever you're going to buy so I will rate scam like how will I rate scam it's a scam right so I will rate it 5 because there are scams a lot of them on the Raj but there are a lot of scams and there are not too many scams on the Raj so it's kind of 50 50 as I said that it is connected to the app and website experience so I will read this kind of flow as well but before I just jump to the rating section let me just explain why well, first thing first what are these things like why are you recommending these and why this is available on the website and app I use the app but it will be available on the website why this these things are available on the app it doesn't make any sense what the fuck I'm going to do with these rainbow fries do you think anybody is going to eat these they will open the rods to order some fries to eat I don't think so I guess the rods need to clean their app a bit like Play Store did that uh, they got rid of a lot of apps that were scam and was just useless and stuff and it the recommendation is really messed up like if i watch some videos on youtube it will recommend me videos related to that tag or that topic but on the ras it doesn't matter even if i buy like rgb lights and stuff it will still give me makeup products as a recommendation and stuff and I'm like, why are you recommending me that? There are so many stuff that uh, it keeps recommending me that I don't use. So I will read this for the least on the chart. Now. I don't think it really is fair to add price as the main uh, part of this video section but I'm just going to do it and I think that it kind of depends on which product you are buying I think the prices are really reasonable I got this for about thousand rupees which was great option deal Now, I think I will just add this little thing to the price section, price and quality, because I think then it kind of makes sense that if I'm buying something that costs a lot but the quality is not great, big wrinkle in here. So I think that from my perspective, because I have only ordered four stuff. So I will give review based on them. I think it's also 50-50. I ordered four stuff and I got two of them which was great deal. The price was reasonable and the quality was great. But I also got two products that were cheap like in quality but the price was kind of reasonable. So I would rate that. Um, six. That whether you should buy stuff from the Raz or not, and first of all, nobody will give a shit about my opinion. If I tell you not to buy stuff from the Raz, I can guarantee that there is nobody, nobody in this world or any other world 
galaxy, universe, dimension, whatever will listen to me. I think that it's fine to buy stuff from the Raz, but you just need to be more careful because this is not like Amazon from any perspective or point of view like if you are going to shop from the Ross thinking that it's something like uh, Amazon don't really don't you will regret it I think better than a lot of online uh, shopping apps in Pakistan so I would say that the whole app the Ross gets 7 out of 10 I think that wraps it up. I hope that this video was helpful to you. And if this is not, then close it. Bye. I'm just kidding. So yeah, I think that wraps it up. And subscribe so we can hit 150 subscribers. I was about to say 150 million, but then I was like, what the hell? So anyways, that wraps it up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I was about to say bye bye because I just watched the market player. Peace. Oh, it's been half an hour since I'm recording. Shit.